Hi you guys, my name is Brianna Molina and I'm 19 years old, soon to be 20. I had a YouTube about a year ago. I used it for singing, put out like a few songs and I just covered them. Uh, since then I haven't touched my YouTube. I am going into the Navy. I have been in depth, which means waiting to leave. I will be heading to Great Lakes, Illinois. I will be there for approximately two months and I'm going in the kind of winter. Two months after my ship day is when I will be graduating why the military. The military isn't for everybody. I knew of the military. I couldn't tell you anything about the military besides, you know, they're important. So I did a semester at VCU. I was like, I just want to go. I just want to leave. Like that was the goal in the first place was to go to New York. I had applied to a few schools up north, like one or two. I went to the new school, which is a gen... Hi, good morning. How are you? I ended up going to the new school, which was a great experience. I came home that summer. I went to VCU. I tried that. I went to New York. I tried it out. I did use this YouTube as like a singing channel was thinking about pursuing that and I was like I'm not gonna pursue music maybe one day as of right now I know I'm more of a planner and I uh, came back to military and I was like hmm I never gave like it, I thought about it and then it was like nope and then I went right and I never thought about it again maybe I should go back so at that point it was to go marine for me I was like if I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hard I'm gonna go big all of my family was against it all of my friends were against it, so I was like, all right, maybe I should rethink this. Last person to kind of like, you know, pull on me a little bit, like really get to me was my dad, because he called me, and he was just like, listen, come, you don't have to pay for anything, and I was like starting to believe it, and I was like, you know what? I, what if I just drop it? Like, what if I just drop the military idea, drop the school idea, and go and kill it, and go to New York? Going there, and him supporting me is not fair. It's gonna make a choice to do something physically, emotionally, mentally hard something that I've never done, something that I never thought I would do, or when I did, I like backed away quickly. Called up a Navy recruiter, like, okay, like, what would be the steps to just get myself into the Navy? Cause I'm pretty in deep with the Marines right now. After my dad's conversation, then my aunt called me. Everyone started calling. Like once my mom was like, oh my God, someone talked to her. All the family members started calling. She was like, what is your plan? Is it 20 years? Is it your whole life? Is it four years? And I was just like, I don't know right now. So she was just like, well, if you're not going in for the full 20, then I suggest you strategically pick out the branch that works best for you. Navy for me was the best fit. They want to equal out the male to female ratios. I speak Spanish. They pay you a little extra for that. On top of that, I had some college credits. The second I get into boot camp, I'm already E2, like the next level pay grade. That's with the Marines. It wasn't like that. You go in for three full months of your boot camp and you get paid E1. Unless you do an officer program to go in as an officer, everybody gets treated the same. On top of that, when you enlist, you promise that you're going into the military, but you don't know the job you're gonna get. Depending on your recruiter, they're gonna work for you. They're gonna see which job that they can get for you. With the Navy, you have your enlistment paper and you have your contract. I like the idea of knowing exactly what job I'm going to have the second I enlist. I did go, they told me, you know, you're gonna have like two, three options of job and they're going to print them out for you and you can like select. Got one sheet of paper. It was for a job that I hadn't even read about. This didn't make the cut for me, so I was just like, I'm not gonna sign. And I thought about the whole process that I had been there. The night before, I spent in a hotel. The morning, I woke up super early. I took my ASVAB. I went through medical. I did everything. I did everything. If I leave here today and I don't go through with this, I'm gonna feel like a failure. I'm going to not wanna come back ever. I'm like, be really upset with this whole process, and I'm gonna feel like it was a waste. So I was just like, do it or don't. And if you do it, be happy about it. Don't, because I was internally upset. How dare they print me one paper? There's people out there who aren't even gonna sign. I have like two sheets that I wanted. Call my mom, I couldn't call anybody. And they were like, oh, you know, we're gonna close up soon, so you can always come back another day. You really think I'm gonna come back? I'm gonna come back now. And my recruiter could tell, he was like, Melina, you have to trust me. You are real crazy thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and trust you after everything my mom has told me about you recruiters. You don't care about me, I'm just a number in my head. I'm thinking of this. Unless, if you can get me a job that is not this one, because this is not the job I want, we'll make this happen. One last eye roll, I was like, okay, now you're happy. It's not the job you wanted, but like I said, you're either gonna do this and you're gonna be happy about it, or you're gonna walk out of here. I made the decision to stay, and I was happy about it. I knew my ship date, I knew what job I was gonna get, and I knew where my training school was all in one day. Within two weeks, he did get me a different job, so he switched it, he held up his end of the bargain. I've basically been in depth since. They give you like a little bag, it has a t-shirt, a hat, and this like notebook called the start guide. It's your study guide to basically making it through boot camp. Mind you, I have no military experience at all. The only military experience I had was the little bit of time I spent with the Marines to hear them talking military. I never understood it, so now it's like I have a whole dictionary of talking military. I've learned rank system, phonetic alphabet, and vocabulary words specific to the Navy. All these different things that I never knew. There's like 
different tests that you can take when you're in boot camp to where you can even move up in rank. Those opportunities to grow were really good incentives to also go Navy. I've never once regretted my choice to go into the Navy instead of any other branch. I've learned so much. I'm continuing to learn. I know there's so much more to come. Haven't even gone to boot camp yet. Uh, I will definitely miss my mom and my dogs and my sister. The hardest part is gonna be like seeing my mom's picture on my phone. Now, those are the things that I think about, but the fact that I made the choice to still go into the military because of that, I think is gonna make her more proud of me than ever. Hey, hey, hey. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars?